Shana Bradshaw, Dr. Mom HD, and welcome once again. Today we're talking about sore throats. So typically, we all get a sore throat. Whether you're a child, whether you're an adult, a teen, doesn't matter. We all tend to get sore throats. So what's the difference between a viral sore throat and a bacterial sore throat? Well, a viral sore throat is what most of us get. Normally, we all have a viral infection which causes the swelling of the mucous membranes in your throat, which causes a sore throat. When you have a bacterial infection, you're more than likely dealing with strep throat, which is a bacteria from the streptococcal uh, strain. So that in itself is something totally different. So how do you determine what is bacterial and what is a viral? Well, the quickest and easiest way is to go to your family physician and get a throat swab and it will tell you as to whether you have a bacterial infection or just a regular virus. A virus will tend to go away on its own, just nurse it back to health. A bacterial infection needs stronger, um, I'd like to say medication or remedies or something to help it along so that the body can heal itself. So whether you are subscribing to the medical terminology and want to go for the, the antibiotics, which is what most doctors would prescribe for a strep bacterial infection, or you go a homeopathic route where you definitely need to see a homeopathic physician who knows what they're doing and can prescribe the remedies that will help your body, um, it's your choice. Now, how can you help a sore throat when it is only a virus? So this is the typical sore throat that most kids get, you get, adults, teens, whatever. So some easy ways to understand. First off, it's a sore throat, so it's going to hurt when you're swallowing. Lying down isn't going to be fun. Uh, eating isn't going to be fun. Talking can sometimes be irritating the mucous membranes in your throat. So what do you need to do? Well, here's some simple solutions. Try gargling with salt water. Basically take eight ounces of warm water and take either a quarter of a teaspoon to half a teaspoon. Try and get that uh, dissolved in the water and then gargle numerous times. Is this going to cure your sore throat? No, but it is going to reduce the swelling because that is what salt is known for. It reduces the constriction, like constricts the mucous membrane so that it allows you to be able to swallow after it. So it's going to provide relief for you. It's also going to have some healing properties that can help you along. The other thing you can do is gargle with hydrogen peroxide and water, so half and half of that mixture. I do not recommend this for children. If you're an adult, that's fine, but children tend to swallow what they're trying to gargle, so I do not recommend this for children whatsoever. However, for adults, hydrogen peroxide can have a healing benefit to it and will kill the bacteria within your mouth. And that's what you're really looking for. It's the virus, the bacteria, whatever is in there. It may not be an actual bacterial infection, but it's a viral infection. So what you want to do is try and kill all of that out. The other thing you can do is colloidal silver. And colloidal silver can be found as a mouthwash in most health food stores. It was taken off the market a number of years ago as colloidal silver just because of risk that uh, I guess Health Canada had assumed there could be because people were not following the instructions properly. So this one is use at your own risk. However, I do know that colloidal silver will help kill anything, any virus that's in your mouth and help heal your sore throat. So there's some really simple, simple solutions. Nurse your body back to health. Make sure you take the time to heal it. Take your vitamin C, your vitamin D, and definitely lie on the couch and take the time off. If you have a sore throat, there's a reason why you have a sore throat. Your immune system is down. So make sure you're eating properly. Make sure you're taking everything you need to. We are now entering spring here in Ontario, and I'm loving it. So get outside. Get that natural vitamin D and help boost that immune system so you don't get that nasty sore throat and prevent your kids from getting it by getting them out there. Go for a walk. Enjoy this weather. So I'm Shana Bracha. If you like this video, please subscribe to my e-zine and you will get some wonderful tips that are weekly given. Um, also, please like me on Facebook or Twitter. Take care. I'm Shana Bracha, Dr. Mom HD. You can find me at www.drmomhd.com.